Support for today's Tifo football video comes from Manscaped, the best in men's below the waist grooming. Visit manscaped.com and use the promo code TIFO for 20% off and free shipping. AC Milan have made an excellent start to the Serie A season. Under manager Stefano Pioli, who reportedly was only supposed to be a stopgap until Ralf Rangnick took over, they've excelled playing a simple but intelligent brand of football and that success towards the end of last season meant the club kept faith with Pioli. And he's rewarded them, at the time of writing, with an unbeaten start after five league games. Milan's average starting age against Spezia, according to Opta, was 22 years and 287 days the youngest seen in a Serie A fixture since the 2004-05 season. And the CIES Observatory have Milan's average starting age as the youngest in Europe's top five leagues so far this season at 24 and a half years. Even with Zlatan Ibrahimovic, a regular in the team at 39. Milan also recruited well in the protracted summer transfer window. They secured young talents like Sandra Tonali, Brahim Diaz, Pierre Kalulu and Jens Petehoga and signed experienced pros Simon Kier and Dante Rebic, both of whom were on loan at the club last season to permanent deals. Alexis Salamaker's loan was made permanent too, the versatile 21-year-old having impressed in the second half of last season. So far, after five league fixtures, Pioli has mostly used a 4-2-3-1. He's been relatively consistent in his defensive selections, with three defenders starting every game, and goalkeeper Gianluigi Donnarumma only missing out against Roma after a positive coronavirus test. Up front, though, he has had to be more flexible because of injury and illness. The preferred midfield pairing is Ismail Benacer and Franck Kessia. They have crucial roles in screening the back four, staying relatively narrow to protect the centre. They can also both drop into the left-sided centre-back spot to make a back three, allowing Hernandez to push high. Sometimes attacking midfielder Hakan Chalhanalu will also drop this deep. And Milan will build up from here, looking to use Ibrahimovic's height and superlative close control under pressure as an outball that allows runners from midfield to break forwards and onto knockdowns. But Milan can also be more patient at times, looking to build using the centre-backs and full-backs who will push forwards but then play it back inside to allow the centre-backs to bring the ball up the pitch. Because Milan's full-backs are so dangerous on the overlap, teams generally back off them, leaving more space for the other defenders to advance. And there's also another reason why teams do this. It's because Milan generate a lot of their attacking play from wide areas, using intelligent in-out switches of possession. Salamakers could receive a long pass into space on the right wing, and Calabria will then run in field to take a pass, underlapping to drive towards the box. Or Theo Hernandez will play a ball up to Rafael Liao, who has dropped inside from the wide left position, sprint forwards on the overlap, and then make a return pass outside before delivering a cross. Milan will switch this between flanks as well. In addition to this dynamic running and positional awareness from the wide attackers, Ibrahimovic and the attacking midfielder, usually Chalhanalu, will also drift into the wider spaces to facilitate build-up, or often look to manipulate teams towards one side before a switch releases teammates on the other. Now this is often on the left. Milan stack the right with Calabria and Salamakers, assisted by a midfielder drawing the opposition over. Milan then switch the play either directly or through the midfield pivot to bring Hernandez into play on the left. He's managed 1.4 shots per 90 and scored once so far this season from left back, indicating that he can be an attacking threat when Milan switch the play. The movement of Chalhanalu and Salamakers into the half spaces on the right is particularly effective, with Calabria a potent attacking force on the overlap or underlap. Milan can use their movement and the penetrative passing of Benassir or Tonali to play through teams as well as round them. When teams stack the centre, Milan go wide, as was seen against Inter and Roma, both sides using a back three. But when Milan are able to progress the ball quickly through the middle, though, they can do this too, as they did against Spezia, who fielded a back four. And of course, in Ibrahimovic, Milan possess a forward capable of flourishing irrespective of his approach play. His deftness of touch, even under pressure, his ability in the air and his predatory changes of pace mean that he is a danger from through balls, dinked passes from the half space or straightforward crosses whipped into the box. 
He's also able to generate shooting chances for others with his hold-up play, and in Chalhalilu especially, Milan have a superb striker of the ball from just outside the penalty area. They generate quite a lot of their shooting opportunities from balls pulled back towards the top of the box, either just inside or out, or from Ibrahimovic dragging defenders back and laying the ball off. Milan are also good at following up from these shots and generating further opportunities. Generally, their shot locations are well clustered in the centre of the penalty area, and they've generated the joint highest non-penalty XG per shot in the league this season, showing that they tend to shoot from good areas. Milan can produce exciting football. In Liao, Hernandez and Salamakers, they have good runners. In Banacer, Tonali and Chalhanalu, they have clever passes. But what's impressive is their ability to stick to general principles of play. Width, quick passing, pressing. While intelligently solving the problems posed by opposition teams and efficiently generating chances. Less exciting than Atalanta, less packed with star power than Juventus, Milan are nonetheless setting the pace in Serie A this season. Today's video was brought to you by Manscaped, the best in men's below-the-waist grooming. Manscaped is now available in the UK, and suddenly we all have access to the tools for the job. Tools such as their Lawn Mower 3.0, an electric trimmer which features a, a cutting-edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents, uh, and of course also their Weed Whacker nose and ear hair trimmer. You can now keep your nose and ear hair looking clean-shaven. Would you like to do that, Seb? I certainly would. As I get older, that gets more important, definitely. And as you get older, yeah, that's you're right, because your hair and the nose and the ears gets longer, and, and the head shrinks, doesn't it? Sure does. Alex, did you know that the battery for uh, the uh, the lawnmower 3.0 lasts up to 90 minutes, so you can take a longer shave, and I believe that that would be useful for you. That, that would be very useful. I have a lot of body hair. So, of course, both of these flagship items come inside the Manscaped Performance Package, along with other quality products like their athletic boxer briefs, Seb. Oh, lovely. Well, you can get 20% off and free shipping by visiting manscaped.com and entering the promo code TIFO. Yes, that's 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com with the promo code TIFO. So that's good quality raises at a reasonable price with 20% off with free shipping. Fantastic. And of course, yeah, Alex, next week will be as smooth as a bowling ball, knocking down those pins, hey, Alex? There's an image for you. <laughs>